happen. Aye. Referee calls halt, gives a P yellow card to each fencer. Yellow, yellow. Now, if this were to happen again for another six. Aye. And there it is. Aye. See. And that was a beauty to the toe. Watch this. Wow. Feels great for the fencer who's... Because I was on the rules commission back then when it was thrown in our lap, and now they seem to have got it to the perfect spot. He has no option but to do that down four touches. She God. Nice attack. Faint disengage to the shoulder. Two meter zone near the end of the piece. He's running out of options. God. And that's the she. risk you take when you get put. Well, wow. he decided to do the opposite tactic, which made sense. Pretty easy repost. And all of a sudden, 5-1 is 5-4. Clearly the third touch against him affected him. Attack in the middle and simple get up, and Diveroli picked him off twice. Take some risks. And now it's changed so drastically that Diveroli has the option to push if he chooses or sit back. And he chose to sit. Well, the early her. So there, yeah. Diver really took a risk first. When the P were to just sit back and they get P red cards. As looks like just happened. He's got a two-touch lead, so it's to his advantage. Vanguard. And they both get a touch on a red card. Each fencer gets a point. So it's 11-9. Happen. Okay, so there's the first time. Let's watch. Paint attack to the back. Vanguard. Looks like actually he hit on the room. So Vismora has to push here. Oh, got caught napping there. Push. Wow. And oh, he missed. He went flat. He was clearly ahead. Does he try to surprise Vismora on his first step and flesh into him? Or... He did! He did it. Last time it didn't work, this time it did. Did it again. And there's your winner. David Deveroli of Italy beating his countrymate Federico Vismara. Into the gold medal match, he goes. So at the end.